When I say reggae, reggae, you say sauce. Reggae, reggae. Sauce. Reggae, reggae. Sauce. When I say Levi, you say roots. Levi. Yes. Levi. Yes. Reggae, reggae sauce is sold over a million bottles. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> which we had been doing at the Notting Hill Carnival for a very long time. We started in about 1991. We had a little stall there that we called the restaurant. <laughs> well, you know, if you got four foot long dreadlocks like me, you wouldn't want to go around saying the restaurant. Better say the restaurant. We've now also got two new sauces in the market. One of them is fabulously called Levi Roots' Love Apple Sauce. I plagiarized that for my grandmother. She's a fantastic cook. She taught me how to use minimalistic ingredients and make fabulous food. She taught me how to make the food look fantastic on the plate. She used to say that if the food don't look good on the plate, it never tastes good. And the other one is called fiery guava. Hands up anybody that knows what a guava is. Yes, few people. Guava, Caribbean fruit. Pinky in the middle, lots of seeds, fantastic flavor. You must taste it. Now we're here to do a bit of cooking. I'm hoping to be showing you how to cook my grandmother's recipe called St. Jaga de la Viga Salmon. St. Jaga de la Viga is a traditional name for Spanish town. It used to be the, the capital of Jamaica. Now, usually we would use snapper fish in Jamaica. Since we're here now, we're going to use lovely salmon. First thing that we would do, we would marinate our salmon in reggae reggae sauce, of course. What else? It's so nice, I have to name it twice when we call it reggae reggae. Exactly. The way I usually check my oil is, is not how some people do by flicking water in there. I just drop a bit of onion or something. Our pot is nice. And leave that to fry. Now, while that's frying, you can smell like the really fantastic aroma of the reggae of the sauce. And of course, while you're doing this, you're going to be singing as well. So nice with your jerk chicken. Make burgers finger licking. On your rice and peas and fish, just put some reggae reggae sauce on your dish. <laughs> Let's fish out our salmon. Now you've got your um, St. Jago de la Viga salmon nicely browned. With St. Jago de la Viga fish, or with any fish, I don't like to have chunky vegetables in, in my dishes. I like to know that when you're eating it, nothing overpowers the flavor of the main thing in the dish. In Jamaica, one of the most favorite vegetables that we use in seasoning and, and to cook meat and fish is our spring onion. But as you know, we call it in Jamaica, scallion. Once that's steam for like five minutes to sort of get all the infusion out there, then you can start to add back your St. Jago de la Viga salmon. So this is the magical bit. The steam from the water that you've put in and the flavors from the salmon itself will actually cook your salmon and cook your vegetables. If we're going to cook without salt as a rastaman, what we would do is add coconut juice. We would grate the coconut, or in our case now, we'd blend a coconut, and we would use the juice of that. And we call that rundown. So the rundown would actually give you the salt and the flavor and everything, so you wouldn't need to use any salt. That's another lesson for my grandmother there. Perhaps that we couldn't afford salt when we was younger. <laughs> now your St. Jago de la Viga salmon should be like really, really firing. Yeah. That smells fantastic. Strange, yes, but this is it. A lot of the times when I tell people that you can cook with crackers, they say, we are talking about Levi. But it's fantastic. St. Jago de la Viga salmon. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Just like my baby, it's the perfect delight. He's got some peppers and some herbs and spice. Me want some reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. So nice with your jerk chicken. Make burgers, finger licking. Listen, love. And your That's rice and address. peas and fish. Just put some reggae, reggae sauce on your list. It's so nice. I had to name it twice when we call it reggae, reggae sauce at, at reggae, reggae. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Rastafari, bless you. <laughs>